Hello folks, time for another video in the shave. Alrighty. Well, I got an interesting little story here after I get going here, but I haven't shaved with Zingari in a while, Zingari man. Good old Heather's products. And I've been using Heather's products way before she was even Zingari man, <clears throat> when she was a smitten soapery. And my favorite scent back then was Sexy Beast, which then turned out to be Nomad, which is my favorite Zingari scent. But I don't know. I got a new scent that uh, I sent a sample of this with uh, a purchase of Zingari a while back. And it is The Watchman. Now, this is a interesting scent. Because I love aquatics, and this is like a kind of a deep, dark aquatic. Mm. And I know this was a co collaboration between uh, Heather and Sean Mayer, a perfumer. And uh, yeah, this is in the Sago base. I think it says it on here somewhere. Yeah, Sago base right there. And. It's exactly what the title says. Storm, air, and dark seas. As you can see right there. And what's cool is the label. See, like, there's stars on the label, and they kind of glisten. I know the camera doesn't pick that up, but it's really cool. Now, there's a story behind this, because I had a pretty large sample that was sent to me when I bought... I don't remember which soap. I don't know if it was the Essentials or one of them. But... I was going to order, and I kind of just forgot because I still have the sample, but this popped up in my Amazon feed. I didn't even know that Zingari was uh, on Amazon, so I said, oh, let me give it a shot. And it's cool because the, uh, I don't know if you could pick up the ingredients there. And then there's a lot number, but the lot number is actually on the bottom right there, which is cool. There was a big Amazon sticker on the bottom, but I peeled that off. But this is such an awesome scent. Mm. Kind of gives me that vibe of the Mariner that she put out, that, but darker. Kind of hard to explain. Anyway, so I ordered this, and I also ordered the Recovery Splash, because I don't have any Recovery Splash. I have all her bombs for Nomad, for Mariner, for Lothario, for... A couple of a bunch of her soaps, but I, I never had the uh, the recovery splash. But what's cool is it was on Amazon, and I have tons of Amazon gift cards. So, you know, balance. So it was great. I got it there. And I didn't get in trouble because I didn't have to order it. And it didn't come up as like Zingari Man or anything like that. So all good. Anyway, I got that all whipped up in the Timeless Bowl. And this smells awesome. And I'm using the Craving Shaving Brush today. Craving Shaving. With that awesome Fanchurian That Darn Rob Knot. Thanks to my buddy Josh. And this is just mm, creamy goodness. To me, this is almost like a aquatic, spicy baby powder kind of scent. It's really good. Anyway, Razor today, I'm just battling on about the scent, is the Razor Rock Eco with the factory handle and in there is a crown blade half the e-blade the actual blades they send with you when you buy the razor from italian barber i don't know if you get these blades if you order this from like say like uh i think i was looking at past stores and uh i don't know if they send you the razor blades if you don't order it from italian barber all right, let's get this cruising because I'm just sitting here BSing. And the weather is wacky, wacky, wacky here lately. Raining nasty the last couple days. Today the sun's out. I am definitely thirsty because hot in this bathroom. So I'm actually going to take a swig of the old Aquapana. Just my favorite water lately because it's... uh. It's available on Amazon Fresh, which you do a lot of shopping on Amazon Fresh because I have a lot of Amazon credit. 
It's only like, I think, less than $2 a bottle. I do still love my Mountain Valley Spring Water from Arkansas. All right, anyway, let's get this shave cruising. The Watchman. Mm. I was going to say, like, you know, this scent kind of reminds me of, this scent doesn't remind me of anything I have. Which is kind of rare because a lot of times I'll get a scent and it'll remind me of another soap I have. But this one is unique. Very nice. And like it says, this is in the sago base or towel base. Very easy to whip up a great lather. Kind of going to get noisy in my household because it's at that time in the day when the kids come home from school. But the Amazon delivery just popped in. I was like, hey. I need a shave. So let's get on with the shave. All right. Razor Rock Eco, Crown Blade, Zingari Man, The Watchman. Got a great label too. Love the label. I will show you something on the container, which I also like on this container. I was missing the style of Heather's original containers, but this one has a nice little feature, which I like, which I'll show you. To me, it's a big, not a big deal, but I make it a big deal because I'm weird. Especially if you're a person who loads from the tub from the container. I do not anymore. I used to, but I stopped that because I don't like the water infiltration that happens. I actually had a few soaps go funky over the past many years. And I let them dry, but who knows, you know, I just find it easier to take a couple of scoops out of a container and put it in a bowl. And it keeps my soap uncontaminated. And I don't have to dry it out. I don't have to worry about any kind of airborne contaminants getting in my soap. Because, you know, I used to sit my soaps up here on my drying rack for a day or two to dry them out. But I found that sometimes water would get under the soap and kind of start to do the funk. So, you know, a few years ago, I just decided I'm going to scrape out of the tub. Boy, I am such a slop today. And uh, put it in a bowl and lather up. Or if it's soft enough, just put it on the end of my brush. Boy, I got lather everywhere today on my face. I usually don't do this because I don't like to irritate my face with a towel, but eh, whatever. Alrighty. Well, that was good. The scent of this is amazing. I gotta say. I'll tell you what, it's so much stronger than the sample I received. Because the sample I received was, you know, it was a good size, but it was enough for maybe like four or five shaves. But I always find it a lot of times if I get a sample, most times the actual full container will smell 
way stronger. That's just my opinion, but that's what I always find out. Oh, and I also saw on Amazon, she has the Nomad. I have the original formula of Nomad, which is a vegan base, but I saw her Sego base up there, so. Of Nomad, which is a sweet bay rum, which I love that scent. Even though this is a good scent too. Like I said, this reminds me of no other scent I've ever come across. Not from my childhood or it's rare. And I'm totally digging it. I'm actually glad it was up on Amazon, like I said, because I have so much credit in Amazon gift cards. Because every time, you know, birthdays or gift time or Christmas, everybody always gets me Amazon gift cards, which is great. Because I always use a lot of Amazon stuff. Plus, we use Amazon Fresh a lot. So, good deal. Oh, the funny story. So, I ordered this, right? I ordered the soap. And I ordered the recovery splash. And, you know, they say two-day delivery because I'm a Prime member. Sometimes, you know, my Prime comes actually sometimes same day or the next day. But it was a two-day two thing. So once I got, they sent me the tracking, the soap came from an Amazon warehouse in California. And the splash came from an Amazon warehouse in Staten Island, which is right over the river from me, or the bay. The splash actually got here first. And then a few minutes later, another Amazon truck showed up with the soap. But yeah, so the soap came all the way from California, which is kind of funky because Zingari is in Indiana. So I'm guessing the way it works is when you're an artisan or a manufacturer and you sell through Amazon, I guess you have to give them enough product and they put them in, I guess, certain warehouses throughout the country. So, yeah, kind of cool. But I was tracking it last night. I was like, wow, it's in uh, California. I'm like, I wonder if it's going to make it in two days, but it did. Uh, Segal base has a great slickness. Definitely good stuff. And like I said, I really enjoy the scent. It's definitely unique for me. It's definitely a scent that I've never come across ever. Like, you know, I get some soaps and there's a hint of something else in some of them and even my favorite, like, PA soap, which is Organism 46B, you know, smells like a orange Tootsie Pop. But this, this is nice. Like I said, to me, it just comes off as a, like a spicy, powdery, aquatic. Kind of hard to explain. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be great. Because. Oh, yeah. That is slick, 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 slick. All right. Let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster. Do a little counter wipe down because. Yeah, Sigmund, I know. Very gross. Oops. Drop the old sink wiping towel. All right, let's do a little cold water rinse. 
I won't forget to show you what I'm talking about the container. I promise. Well, at least the water is still coming on nice and cold here. We know it's a little bit warmer today. Lancaster towel. And, you know, the weather's been just crazy here lately. Freezing cold one day. Hot as can be the next. All right, let me just dry my arm up a little bit there. Lancaster towel for a little bit of wipe up the old Lancaster towel as I call it the Lancaster water magnet all right so let me show you this before I forget so I don't know if I can get the I think I showed this to you before but I don't know if my camera will pick up the actual ingredients there but here's what I like about the container if you're one that lathers up in the container, you can take the lid and the container fits inside the lid. I know it's trivial, but I always like that feature. See that? So if you're taking your soap, you can just, you know, however you dry it this way. I used to dry mine like this, but it keeps the cap close. I know it's goofy, but anyway, the Watchman. Great aquatic scent for me. All right, so that was the Razor Arc Eco with the Crown Half DE blade already in half free, easy to load. And that was the Craving Shaving brush today with that awesome, that darn Rob Fanchurian knot. Awesome deal. And thanks to my buddy Josh for sending me that brush. And the knot a long time ago. Oh, this is good stuff. I mean, look at that. Good stuff. And whipped it up in the timeless ball. Alrighty, so let's get to the post shave, which is the recovery splash. This is actually my first experience with the recovery splash. I have mostly bombs, or all bombs from Zingari. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that scent is awesome. Of course, it's a dead ringer for the soap. Zero sting. Because I believe there is no alcohol in this. In fact, the ingredient list is on the bottle. Maybe I can... It's pretty damn long, though. So. But, of course, I'll leave the link down below and you can go check it out. So, that's the Recovery Splash for the Watchman. Great scent. Hey, folks. So, if you enjoyed today's Zingari Man. Oh, my God. I forgot what I was going to say. So, if you enjoyed today's Zingari Man, the Watchman uh, setup over here. Thumbs up if you didn't like it. Hit the dislike button. And please subscribe because, you know, there's another giveaway. Even though we just had one. As soon as we reach another magic number, we'll have another giveaway. So please subscribe. All you guys are great. And, oh, man, my face feels great. Sorry it's been so long since I used Ngari. That was my go-to for a long time. Alrighty. So, until next shave, stay safe out there. And Glenn signing off.